Once again, garage doors may not remain ajar longer than 20 minutes. And sir, that's a stupid rule. 20 minutes, the garage door that's open? Nuts. Dwight's gonna have to take over the HOA. <laughs> Folks, we're going back to you, me, and the TV, and hey, yo, the Tosa King. Sweet. So what's going on? What happened on the season premiere of season two of Tulsa King? He got arrested, got out of jail. He's out on bail. He's defending himself. Defending himself. His daughter bailed him out. Uh, he, like, met up with Stacy. Yeah. And said, hey, hey well, like, I got nothing against you. I'm not you. trying to kill you. You got played. You? Yeah, <laughs> you think I'm trying to kill you. Um, yeah, that's what I remember. We have a new player in the game, though. Neil McDonough's. That's right, Neil uh, McDonough. Thrasher. Mm -hmm. Thresher. Threat Thresher. Like a shark. Thresher shark. Mm -hmm. And he's getting the U.S. attorney to go after Dwight. That's right. And he's also called up Another... Kansas City uh, boss and yeah. said, hey, these guys are in under territory. Whoops. And then that guy called Chicky and Chicky called Goody. Mm -hmm. And said, hey, if you take out Dwight, you're in charge down there. Right. I don't think. But it sounds like that other boss is kind of in charge a, in Kansas City. So what yeah, would Goody be? Think that's just a ploy yeah. to have infighting for Dwight sure. when he knows that Kansas City is going to be laying down the hammer. Right? Could be. Mm -hmm. So. Interesting. Do you think Goody tells Dwight? I hope so. Says, take Chicky off and me this. Yeah. Why would you trust Chicky, though? Chicky's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. But could he also just switch teams? So who knows where his alliances lay? No one knows yet. All right. Well, should we jump in and find out? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Tulsa King. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want to watch along beside us with our full-length commentary. Or if you want early access, full-length commentary, access to polls, up, big bars, next. Links down there. Check it out. I said full-length commentary twice, so it's very important. Check it out. So links down here. Let's watch Tulsa King. Here we go. What? Business on the sides, party in the back. <laughs> you fit in with Tulsa perfectly. Just trying to get my hair to dry, all right? I love you. This man, Freddy, he's moving in the wrong direction. Neil McDonald's got a new movie coming out with Angel Studios that looks really good. It's called Homestead. It looks like mm -hmm. Western post-apocalyptic. Oh, cool. He looks like he's actually the hero on that one, though. Finally! Yeah. Gets a hero role. Give my daughter a new car. Certified pre-owned be okay. But there's nothing like that new car smell, Donnie. <laughs> That's right. He got another protection business. And the truth is, I never tried to bribe anyone in my life. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you know it too. So in conclusion. Strong arm people, yes. Bribe them? He never strong armed Stacy though. No, no. Everything Stacy gave him, she gave up willingly. Yeah. Thank you, Fred. But what did you think of the summation? I thought it was good. It was very concise. The case is shit. You must have quit. <laughs> if the case is shit, you must have quit. What did you think? Ennis. <laughs> okay. Not guilty or guilty. Those are your only options. Innocence, the same thing. No. Mm, it's not. Where'd you get that? Boy, it's like 15 hours of law and order on TV every day, man. <laughs> All you need is one person on that jury to see things your way. Maggie, Jimmy, out of 12 people, that's like 15%. 8.3%. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I find him innocent. Not guilty, dude. <laughs> and technically, you're innocent until proven guilty, so if you're not guilty, then you are Yeah, You're innocent, innocent. until proven guilty, right? Yeah, that's what I just said. I thought that's what I just said. Jesus, turn your are you high right now? Turn your headphones down if you can't hear me. You're just as high as those guys right now. I caramba. I can hear you just fine. I'm just messing with you. It's so easy. I love you. Do you? <laughs> so much. Not showing it very well today. <sighs> That one shot with the buffalo looks like it's straight out of Yellowstone. Like they sh sh shot that picture where they shoot the Yellowstone. How long does it take you to do that? Write lyrics? Depends on the mood. Sometimes when I'm feeling good, almost happy, it takes forever. But when it rains, 
It pours. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really gonna be like that. Who was that? I had one of them robocalls. Yeah, you got rid of them in four syllables. The fuck does that mean? You don't think I was talking one of them fucking robo fucks? Uh, relax, man. I was just making a dumbass joke. Mitch is gonna red flags. Well, Mitch will tell what Dwight <laughs> sums up with Goody. You ruined our family because you chose that fucking crook, Manfredi, over your own family. Why don't you be a man now, huh? For once. And whatever. You are agreeing to Clara's terms. Give her whatever she wants. Hmm. I don't know how long he can stand his ground there. I feel like he's gonna crack. And I think he's about ready to pack it in. I think he's had it. Great marketing. It'd be a gold mine. The white man, Freddy's Auto Rama. <laughs> I do better than that. General Modris, you think they'll mind? I'll check. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's about time we paid Donnie Shore a visit. Another legitimate business, though. Pocket Bible? It's too late, pal. It's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. Makes me wonder why you're so interested. Because you could do a whole lot better. You and I, we've known each other for a long time. What is the problem? It's just not for me. You're kind of evil. <laughs> well, you'll go for a criminal grease ball and a pinky ring. Honestly, there's more class in that pinky ring than your entire body. <laughs> Deal with their mom from now on. Who? My stable man. Our mom. <sighs> Was that an honest proposition, or is he just trying to get under Dwight's skin in another way? I don't know. I don't think he likes her. Terrible, man. I want the kind with the cup holder and the arm. My dad, he has that exact one. It has a lever, a handle, you pull back, and the feet go out. <laughs> I think you're going to learn to fucking love the Eames chair. You know what? When are you leaving? I'm not. <laughs> Nothing beats a good lazy boy, though. So true. Well, first of all, let me just say... Welcome to the community. I think you and your family can be very happy. HOA guy. <laughs> He's the head of the HOA. Wow. Well, as vice chair of the Homeowners Association, it's part of my job to make sure that it stays that way. Right. Of course. Let me just cut to the chase here. Your garage door has been open for over 20 consecutive minutes. And? They're moving. At the fines. Fine? Yeah. For having my garage door open? First offense is $100. Pay the penalty and get on with their lives. Yeah. Once again, garage doors may not remain ajar longer than 20 minutes. trying to muscle him out of the neighborhood? No leniency? That's a stupid rule. 20 minutes, the garage door That's open? That's nuts. It's a funny what happened. happened. Man, all of a sudden, this ball breaker comes along. Dwight's going to have to take over the HOA. <laughs> Of course I want a lazy boy. I was dreaming about a lazy boy. I've got the kids here. They sit in the lazy boy. We can turn. Have a good time, kids. Maybe watch football together. You can watch football on the couch. Not the same. I think squeaks when it turns, too. Eh, nothing a little WD-40 can't fix. Expression. I don't know what form this thing is following, but it's not functioning for me. That's for sure. I, I... Sit in it. You'll like it. Let's live with it for a week. That's fair enough. Tina, you're up. <laughs> He's going to sit in it. He's going to be like, oh, this chair's nice. Think he's going to like it? Yeah. It's a classic chair. You're going to do great. We're going to be there cheering you on. Oh, the judge is going to love that. You can't actually cheer in a courtroom, though. Yo, yo, we're going to court today. So why are you wearing your pajamas? Come on. Go home and get us. Oh, that garbage is going to get him another fine. Excuse me. <laughs> here we go. George Jetson here. George Jetson. <laughs> right, but you see, your receptacles can't be so full that the lids don't entirely close. Why is that exactly? Can you explain that? It's unsightly. It's garbage. It's supposed to be unsightly. That's why people throw it away, Wesley. <laughs> right. They spend their time with you. <laughs> You're just being nice to him. Smoke it? <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course I remember it. Very nice party. Beautiful home. Tasha. 
Oh boy. Oh, uh, it's gonna try to flip, flip Armand. Can I be honest? Sure. Did you bring me here because you have a hard on for Dwight? <laughs> yep. What do you want from me, exactly? I just like to help people. Hmm. Sure. Write him a check to f backstab Dwight. Sort of strings are attached here. You fucking kidding me? Like I said, I like to help people. And who knows? Maybe one day, you'll help me. Armand, take it. Don't take that. It's bad news, Bears. You take it? Yeah. Last drive was an attempt at bribery, was it not? We wouldn't have brought these charges otherwise. Thank you, Chief Devlin. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Manfredi, your witness. I'm fine, Your Honor. Thank you. No questions. <laughs> I'm going to question them. What's he going to ask that guy? <laughs> the defense calls Agent Stacy Beal. Who does she back? Please place your left hand on the Bible. She's swearing on the Bible. I was at a bar called the Red Buck. I was there with friends, part of a bachelorette party. Was it me who approached you first? No, I spoke to you first. Right. Do you remember where we went after that? A strip club. <laughs> a hotel. Right. And we talked and got to know each other pretty well. Right? Objection. <laughs> So we had a few laughs, and you asked me how old I was. I said 75, and you really freaked out. <laughs> and she said, it wasn't an age gap, it was an age canyon, and got out of there as fast as you could. <laughs> we were friends, weren't we, Stacy? We did confide in each other. We confided in each other. It's nailing it. It's just the truth, though. If somebody had done all of these things for you, do you think you'd be thankful? Probably. Do you know what quid pro quo means? Yes. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I scratch your back a lot. Ask you for anything for this alleged million dollars? No. Is there a law that says it's a crime to want to do something nice for somebody. No. Thank you. No further questions, Runner. Does someone ask her that have I ever bribed you? Did I ever ask anything for you in return? That you both agreed to forego closing arguments. Correct, Your Honor? No closing arguments? The jury will be dismissed and begin deliberations. All right, Dwight's gonna win then. I would hope you made a great argument. Your life, my life, no matter what, are failures. I don't believe that. But I'm happy for you. I don't believe that either. You shouldn't. Why don't you just offer her a job? So long, Stacey. She has too much pride to take a mob job. We have a visitor, Bill Bevilacqua, Don from Kansas City. Hey, I'm on my way. He's got a busy day. When he sent you here, he didn't mention that Tulsa belongs to me? No, he actually didn't say anything about that. And I think belongs would be the correct way to put it, Bill. <laughs> Does Tulsa belongs to me now? You should learn some fucking history. He's coming out swinging. Things don't really belong to people. Unless they got the balls to take them. Or take them back. No one's talking to you, Carl. <laughs> you know, came down here. No. Well, that looks scared, Carl. But like I told Chicky, I don't give a fuck if it's you or it's him. Someone's going to start kicking up. I don't answer to Chicky. I don't answer to any man. Putting his foot down. You got a sense of humor. Sometimes. 
I don't. Yeah, well, I'm sure you got other qualities. <laughs> He's a little too uptight. Mm hmm. I'm going to send Carl back with a proposition. Be good for both of us. What does that mean? We just got word from the courthouse. The verdict is in. I think he's innocent. Not guilty. Same thing. Yeah, why don't you hold this stuff? Who's this? It may not be coming back this way, so. So if not, then uh, I get to keep it? Just in case. <laughs> Tight to keep his watch. As to the charge of attempted bribery of a federal agent in violation of 18 U.S. Criminal Code Section 201, we, the jury, find the defendant, Dwight Manfredi, not guilty. <laughs> Give my best to Thresher. That's too easy. Yeah. From the past, it's bad luck. Bad luck, okay. yeah. Good luck for me. You got it. You got <laughs> He's giving Tyson his watch. So now Tyson's got a ring and a gold watch from Dwight. Apparently. It's okay. Does that mean you're going to stay in Oklahoma? Oh, absolutely. I love it out here. Did he? What's up? Can we have another cinnamon roll? Can you get it yourself? Yes. If you eat it today, you won't be able to eat it tomorrow. Okay. If you eat it today, you can't have it for breakfast in the morning. Okay. Right. Okay. If that's the choice you want to make, that's fine. All right. Go ahead. Make sure you roll up your sleeves. And get a wipe ready. Love you. <laughs> Good to be in a city where justice prevails. I mean that. Does that mean you're going to stay in Oklahoma? Oh, absolutely. I love it out here. Are you He's not going anywhere. Nah. He's the Tulsa King. Yeah. Cal, Dylan McGrath. What's the result? Oh, so he's working with the Chinese. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. Juries, Cal. You know how unpredictable they can be. Oh, sure. I can be unpredictable myself. Wait till your next appointment comes up. Son of a bitch. What's he gonna do to the U.S. attorney? He didn't pick up on the Chinese thing when he was drinking Chinese tea. Oh, yeah. You didn't say anything about it. I didn't need to. I thought it was pretty obvious. Just get Dwight outside. And I'll take care of the rest. Positive this is the way you want to go. Bevel Aqua made him an offer. He said no. Fuck diplomacy anyway. It never lasts. I don't know what he thinks he's going to be in charge of. He's going to be in charge of kicking up to Kansas City. I don't think he's going to go for it, though. Alleged New York mobster Dwight Manfredi was found not guilty today in his federal bribery trial. Manfredi, a recent... Oh, did he not know that he was a mobster? In weather, we're looking at seasonal... <laughs> he was just being a dick because he's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> now he's going to be super nice <laughs> yeah. to him. Because he's like, oh, shit. He's like, oh, hi, uh, please don't kill me. I've been thinking, actually, and um, you know, considering these were all first offenses, why don't we just go ahead and waive those fines? I appreciate that. To tell you the truth, these rules are really silly, so you're not going to hear another peep out of me. <laughs> I know how to shut up. Don't you worry. <laughs> cool. Does that mean he can let his yard go? I think so. <laughs> Gotta kill all the kindness, girls. <laughs> yeah, she's starting to like Mitch. I mean, how could you not? He's handsome. Yeah, he's a pretty handsome guy. I must have triggered the magnets underneath. <laughs> a little nervous, to tell you the truth. You were nervous? You are human, huh? Uh, sort of. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> right? You could have been a lawyer, boss. You think so? Oh, definitely. Yes. All those books he was reading. Is it my imagination, or is he, like, really good? <laughs> yeah, that was not a good dance. <laughs> Interesting moves, but... 
What's on Bigfoot's mind? I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> excuse me. That Lockler just called. This guy Caputo's here with another officer. He's outside around back. He'll be there in two minutes. Mm, good he's going ahead with it. Gotta go for a minute. They shall return as they say. What does he take with him? Come on. Why weren't you in court? I had to work. Mm. Speaking up. For you. Ten grand. He took the money. Keep it coming. Hey, what up? Oh, this is that. Just... He's taking Bigfoot with him? How you doing, Dwight? Mr. Bevelacqua sends his regards. Appreciate you hearing us out. Yeah, nothing wrong with listening. What do you got? I wrote it all down. So I get it exactly right. <laughs> Was Goody Could you gonna stab Dwight and saw the no, wind blue? No, I think they were. I think Goody was must have told him or something. Oh, Tyson's complicit now. Blood. Oh, she didn't even notice. Or she didn't care. Weird either way. <laughs> so Tyson and Goody are gonna go hide that body. And book Big Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, they put the menu in his hand. Is this a fight you want to take? Not me, but Dwight's not scared, so. So did you think Goody knew that that's how it was going to play out? Or yeah. did he draw his knife to go after Dwight? No, I think he knew that was how it was going to play out. Right? So? God, I think so. He was on Dwight's side the whole time? I think so. He was just... Cause he knew, Playing dumb. He's got to know Dwight's smart enough to know, yeah. meet me out back. Right. Like, uh, also, he just had to nod at Bigfoot. And Bigfoot's like, oh, I know where I'm going. So, like, it's like they it's like they already kind of talked about it. They knew what was going to happen. They yeah. just. Okay. It's just he didn't want Tyson to come out. Right. And Tyson did. Right. Right. So Tyson saw the, the sausage get made for once mm -hmm. rather than just being the driver there. Right. To act cool. I mean, they were in that gun shootout last season, but yeah. it's a little different when you're hiding a body. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they hid the body. Yeah, he's already been involved. I don't, yeah. I don't okay. know. Okay. Just wondered. Tyson looked kind of like shocked that what was going down. Maybe it's just the realization that a mob war is about to happen. Well, I think maybe he was surprised that he didn't know about it. Oh, that he wasn't let that in. he wasn't let in on the secret. Okay, yeah, yeah. that would be my guess. Hmm. That he was like, "What the fuck? Thought it was something here." He, Dwight just didn't need him right. involved in this. Right. It's between Italians <laughs> and Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot's a big dude. He's a big guy. He probably could have just snapped that guy's neck. He didn't mm -hmm. even get stabbed. But giant Alex. That's still. Uh, I think my jury's still out for Goody. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure. But based on everything, I, I don't know why you would think Dwight didn't know what was going on, but yeah. Well, Dwight's not guilty. So, good, so long, U.S. attorney. Mm -hmm. And the threat, Thresher's threat was probably like, I'm not going to. Oh, yeah, you will be unelected. Next. Yeah, you will not be elected <laughs> so next <long>. round. Yeah. <laughs> not giving you Thanks for doing funds. nothing for me. I'll yeah. do nothing for you back. So, what's Thresher's next move? Because he's got. Kansas City going after Dwight, but now he's he's got Armand on the take. No, he's still got China also. I feel like even though Armand took the money, I still trust him more than Goody. Does that make any sense? I don't I think the part that I worry about is that Armand is a man with problems. Yeah, he's already got lots to lose. He's already lost a lot. That was his choice. I know, I just He's more desperate. Yeah. Goody's not desperate for anything. He doesn't I, need I, I to be like the if, boss. He doesn't. He's just. He's not as desperate as Armand. I'm more yeah. worried about Armand. Yeah, I just feel like if Armand talked to Dwight in season one about his wife's ultimatum, that Dwight would have let him walk. I don't know. 
I don't know. Dwight seems kind of forgiving in that aspect, especially after letting him live when he took multiple shots at him during his driving test. So Right. Well, any other thoughts on this episode? No. Ready for more? Yep. Let's watch some more Tulsa King. Let's do it. Uh, you dude. <laughs> Is everyone high here? You chose to have a mock trial in a weed shop. I don't remember that line. No. That, that was an outtake. No. Yeah. You guys messing with the wrong Tulsa King. Sure you're good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah. He's not okay. Yeah. I wonder why Tyson was okay with going on uh, getting he got shot during a shootout with the biker gang, but not okay with stabbing a guy. One thing to think you want to be a gangster, another thing to be an actual gangster, huh? Maybe because the biker gang beat him up, he was okay with that part? I don't know. All right, you know what to do. Hang around here. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Yes, sir. It's amazing to see Bigfoot hiding in the trees and report a Bigfoot sighting. I hope Bigfoot uh, is getting reimbursed really well for his, oh, his I'm duties. sure he's getting paid well. Are we in danger? Answer me that. No. That's not true. What do you want from me, George? How about the fucking truth? I just let her in. I mean, I took out a made man from Kansas City because he was coming for me. Uh, how did it start? <laughs> so you provoked and then you killed one of theirs? They're coming for you. Well, when you put it that way. Well, they're gonna die. <laughs> is, is that why Tyson's being weird? Because he knows he sees the writing on the wall. Kansas City had nothing in Tulsa until Dwight. Like, right. He was right about that whole conversation. Like, you weren't doing anything here. Why do you care? The thing is, how is Chicky gonna react when he hears about what went down? Because he's kind of. Com- Implicit for sure f- against Kansas City in that regard, right? You listening to me? Yeah, you. What I say? <laughs> yeah, let me. Let me just give you a few dollars. Boy, put that back in your pocket. Dad, I'm here doing laundry every week. The least I can do is give you a contribution. Well, when I'm gone, you can help take care of your mother. It's dad's guy's principles. Yeah, your dad's never going to respect what you do, so get used to it. Stop trying to earn that. He really seems to be starting to question it. On the back foot, I'm twist out of hand. Step into it, relax there, grasshopper. He's going to break his index finger punching like that, though. Got to tell him how to form a fist first. They'll be attending a school with a zero-tolerance policy for violence. Plus, I want to teach them some conflict resolution. Well, nothing resolves a conflict like a good smack in the chops. <laughs> telling your teachers. Hmm? Wait a minute. Can you tell them to be snitches? No ratty. You understand? No cheese eating. You never drop a dime on anybody. You got it? Don't be a snitch. <laughs> All right, go get ready. Yeah, lesson's over. All right. Zero tolerance schools is the problem. <laughs> We didn't have that when I was in school. People fought, they got suspended, came back. It was usually the person they instigated, not the person that defended themselves. I'll get back to you by the end of the day with a proposal. Well, fuck proposals! I want results! You understand me? I want Man Freddy dead. Hello? He fucking hang up on you. Chicky's a horrible boss. <laughs> They're going to have to go try and take Dwight out of themselves? Pepper gets me in trouble. I bring a bazooka. What a fucking pea shooter would do. Pea shooter? I'm going to stop that motherfucker last night. Nah, I'm talking about before with Bevilacqua. You know, I could have cut a deal that I could live with instead of telling him to go fuck himself. <laughs> if you want, I could talk to everybody. I don't know. Let me think about it. Well, Tyson's there is giving him good advice, but maybe he just wants some responsibility other than cleaning up messes. I don't know. What is it this time? Last night, someone tried to take me out. 
We handled it. But these guys are... Keep coming. Okay, no. I'm done. Fuck this. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. I got this. That's our boss. That is your boss. Man, we in this together. Whether you like it or not. I don't. Well, I guess you got a decision to make. Tyson handed down a threat? The boss of that city, he somehow made it up in his head that Tulsa belongs to his family. Well, it doesn't, and it never will. It belongs to our family. So if any of you want to leave... Wow. Oh. Be okay. I'm good. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like Tyson's looking for some fatherly acceptance. And I think Dwight just gave it to him after that speech, right? Like somebody being proud of him for... <laughs> so what do they do to protect the weed shop? Don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, that a cartel? No, it's one of the. He's a somebody from New York, or somebody from Here. Kansas City. What is that? They're puppies. Puppies. Get rid of it now. Sure. It's your land. We work for you. Puppies are pretty obvious, right? <laughs> one would think, they're since they're red. <laughs> Carl didn't come home last night. Okay. Do you know where he is? I'm not responsible for the choices that Carl makes. Understood? He's a big boy, makes his own decisions. Is he coming home or not? No. Huh. I don't know. Nope. Horrible poker face. Bodie. Can't hear you. He's got the buds in. Bodie! What? <laughs> What are you listening to? What does it matter? Well, I'm curious. What is it? Podcast. Fish. Oh, fish. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You can't listen to a fish. How gullible do you think I am? How do you listen to a fish? <laughs> so? 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 How many of those have you had? Uh, too many. <laughs> Way too many. It's as high as a cake. And that? The first instrument was like a flute made out of bird bone. Imagine, some the poor guy, birds flying along, this caveman grabs it and starts playing its leg. <laughs> <laughs> Is he like a big bird? Like an ostrich? I'm down in the Lower East Side. I'm looking for a club to go into because I'm bored. I'm also a little drunk. Actually, I'm fucking smashed. <laughs> Considered the gateway to America. Why would I know that? Gateway to America? No, I don't think so. That's beside the fucking point. Let's get back to the club. I'm walking across this bar. He's so chatty. He rambles when he's high. Sudden, dun, 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 and this fucking song is playing on the road again. And ever since that time, my right ear has been ringing consistently. Right? I hate that band. <laughs> Yeah. Well, here's how it works, okay, on Earth. Actually, that's how the fucking solar system works. <laughs> Anywhere, anytime, can blame anybody else for anything so they aren't responsible. It's a pile of lies. The end. No more lollipops for Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> He's so philosophical. That's it, you're done, you're cut hey, off. Hey, 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 no hey. more. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I guess it's nap time. <laughs> he has the best stories when he's high. It's so chatty. I'm actually here to see you. Oh, what's up? The story you told me the other day about your family. Just... <laughs> what's this? Mm, just keep it. Think nothing up. More money? 
Some wind farm. He's up there right now, actually. Galena. That a bad thing? No, just curious. It's good to know what your competition's up to, right? Thanks, everyone. Say how to market for me. Yeah. The word competition should be like a red flag. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> We, we look fucking weak with him out there. Except we're not. Well, your old man would have did. He would have told Bevilacqua to go fuck himself. <laughs> and the horse he rode in on. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> my, my, my father wasn't as tough as you fucking think he was. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, he ain't here no more, right? Well, yeah, yeah. He had a heart attack in the bathtub. He died, your father. Exactly. He died. So I'm so fucking weak. I'm about to try to tell him that you killed him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel that's like that's gotta a be good... a huge signal for that. Legs kicking like crazy. <laughs> Fuck you mean? Nothing. There's only so much shit a man can take. And that's from fucking anybody. And he's like, holy shit, he killed his dad. <laughs> he's doing a horrible job running this family. Yeah. Who the fuck sent you? Who the fuck? New York or Kansas City? It's gotta Kansas be New City? York. I don't know. Kansas City. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I slept it off. I am ready to do some business clear as a bell. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> you need another sucker? <laughs> a little cloudy. How was the trip? How was the trip? What do you think, Bodie? I think it was kind of peaceful, don't you think? Peaceful. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I got another offer less than an hour ago. From who? White guy. One of your competitors. His name wouldn't happen to be Thresher, right? <laughs> Could be. You interested or not? Hey, yo, listen here, little man. Go for an ice cream truck or something. Keep your ass busy. <laughs> Fuck stop me. No, relax. <laughs> Go find the ice cream truck. <laughs> I think we ought to push the pause button. What do you think, Chief? Let's do that. It's pricey but doable. Enough to fuel our other interests. I can make it work. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Manfredi, before you continue, my son has something he'd like to say. Sorry the way I spoke to you. It was disrespectful. Hey, apology accepted, no problem. <laughs> it's daddy had to talk with him. There's a travel grant program for $2.5 million. These turbines need repair. We can help with that. Deal. Great, General. Thank you. It's a shame Custer wasn't half as reasonable, huh? I see, he was a douchebag, right? <laughs> General Custer. Why didn't they bring that grant in before? It's a big deal. This guy probably just lives around here or something. No. Who the fuck sent you, huh? Who the fuck sent you? Revel Aqua! Speak! Oh. Uber Eats! Uber Eats! <laughs> I'm just looking for Uber Eats. Just an Uber driver. <laughs> Did he pee himself? <laughs> Good, he's on edge. Canada? Alberta, I think. Look, anybody named after a city? That's weird. Uh, Eugene Levy. Sidney Pollock. Indiana Jones. <laughs> like, who else? Okay, enough, enough. That was a state. Okay. My sister's been thinking about getting into the weed business. What do you think? Hmm. Does she have any experience? Sort of. She got so high once I saved her from falling off a balcony during a Led Zeppelin concert at Fillmore East. <laughs> That's her experience. No. She belonged to the Girl Scouts, believe it or not. She sold more cookies than all the troopers or whatever they're called put together. How'd she do that? She set up a table outside a Weight Watchers building. 
talking about? We finna get a new car? Oh, we're fixing to get about 200 new fucking cars. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna buy that car lot now? They sure are. Yeah. So Mitch tells me you're interested in selling this joint. Now, th this ain't gonna be uh, one of those offer I can't refuse situations, is it? <laughs> Sense of humor. No, this is gonna be an arm's length transaction. Oh. He moved his office out into the showroom, or is he just sitting at somebody else's desk right now? One last question. Would you buy a car from this guy? Oh, sure would. <laughs> so Mitch is going to be the face of the car? Looks like it. Oh, we're making some business deals today, huh? Windmills and car lots. I'll manage. Take it easy. Two. Are you still passed out? Yep. Is he gonna kill him? Chiggy. Oh, he's pouring him a drink. What's what's his play here? Oh, he's cleaning up. Oh, Belacqua. Conversation with all interested parties. You mean us? You and me, for starters. I'll reach out again through proper channels. Well, Vince is making a move? Yuck. Well, he has... He wants revenge on Dwight for breaking his jaw. Yeah. So. Better go to church. I did. And I turn out to be a fucking gangster. It's a dilemma. You're Columbus, my friend. Was that an Italian dig? <laughs> Never satisfied. They have to hurry up, go out, find the next thing, the bigger thing. The danger, it's intoxicating. That's the dilemma. But there's nothing like it in the world. <laughs> Dwight's an adrenaline junkie for... Basically, yeah. The mobster stuff. They're ready. What's going on here? Oh, the thieves? By stealing from me. These men made a big mistake. So, let this be your lesson. Oh, he just shot both of them with one bullet. <laughs> no one takes money from my pocket. I hope he stays. Uh oh. Oopsie. Got Thresher. in bed with the wrong guy. Thresher thought he was in command. Turns out. People more scary than you. Oh, it's a change of events here. Boy, you don't. It's hard when there's, they're just constantly playing each other's like, I'm tougher. Yeah. Like, you think you're tough, I'm tougher. You think you're tough, I'm tougher. Thresher might have to go to Dwight for help. Right? <laughs> I got a Chinese problem. You want to help me out? I'll, uh, I'll grow in your land instead. Interesting. Or wait, no, it's his land. I don't know. I bet it's his land, but I bet they finance. Yeah, and work, and I've provided all the workers. Oh, boy. Well, Thresher's uh, problems are just getting bigger. Yep. He thought he was just having to deal with Dwight, and now he's got his own. Mm hmm I'm actually kind of else. excited to see how that backfire goes. Yeah, well, we're halfway through the season. Okay. Well, short season, huh? And there's eight episodes. We're four episodes in. Last episode, last season was seven. Oh, okay. Was it? No, it was nine. Nine or? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Maybe this one's ten then. Maybe we're not quite halfway. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen next. Me either. But Dwight just made some business deals. Mm hmm So he bought a car lot. He did. So, and bought a wind farm. You can call it the General, right? Because yeah. it's General Motors. I guess. I don't even know if you realize that. It didn't seem like they were, didn't he give us Lincoln General Motors? No, Ford. Lincoln is Ford. Yeah, that wasn't the last season. Wasn't he giving Lincolns? Yeah. Maybe his. So he changed his... Well, that was a different car dealership, too, because in the first season, mm. when they went to his office, he was in the back room. I think that's just continuity error. Yeah. Well, I think they changed locations where they were shooting this, this season. Because be. the first season was actually shot in Tulsa, and this one's not shot in Tulsa. That's from what I've heard. Which is why all the locations are different from Bodhi's sh shop and the car dealership. So. Yeah. They haven't. They left the hotel. I mean, he does sell previously owned, but I can't imagine that Dwight would have. Um, no, he got new cars. 
Right. But if he's a GM dealer, then yeah. not getting Lincolns. Unless he has multiple lots. Maybe he was at his general lot that today. We'll see. I never know. But yeah. So we got uh, windmills coming, car dealership. Dwight continues to bite off more things to chew on. Mm. And he's got Kansas City coming to... And New York. Yeah, I'm not sure what... Uh, Vince is just going to... Railroad the problem. Align himself with Kansas City. Just to, Vince sucks, so... Well, so does Chicky. Yeah, they, they're they both the worst. Yeah. It's totally unlikable characters. I, but the thing is, like, I don't know if Vince's play wouldn't have been... Was I guess, was Chicky going to say... It's your problem. We have nothing to do with it. I don't know. Is that his final stand, you think? Don't know. And so Vince going to him is saying, I'll help you, is what Chicky wouldn't want. Don't know. So. Well, there wasn't really uh, anything in this episode to make me think about Goody's alliances. Because he's just watching his back now, knowing that yeah. he screwed over New York. Mm-hmm. Right? And then Armand realized that... Thresher was just giving him money. Yeah, to he's in bed with him now. Him, right? mm-hmm. But he's realizing, like, oh shit, I don't think he will. I don't think he would do anything, even though he got money from Thresher to betray Dwight. I think when the moment comes that he would pick Dwight. I don't know. He, I mean, he already picked Dwight over his family. I know, but like I said, it's got a lot. Yeah. Going on. Well, it's going through your mind after these two episodes. Not much. I'm excited to see where the Thresher thing turns out. Yeah. Could turn around. Who knows? Yeah. Neil McDonald's always a good. It's great. Good actor. So always interesting to see where they take his characters. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's going to have to team up with Dwight? Do you kind of hope. Where that's gonna, I kind of hope that's where it's going. going. Yeah. And then he's going to have to help Dwight with Kansas City. I kind of hope that's where yeah. it goes. Yeah. Huh. It'd, it'd be interesting. Yeah, it'd be. I, mean, I can't. I have no idea what's going to go on that type. And so I, I think that just shows how well the show's written and yeah, it's good. fleshed out. So well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? What car are you going to buy from Dwight's car dealership? What's your favorite GM General Motors car? Yeah, there you go. What's your Ford fan or Dodge fan or, you know, whatever. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for two more episodes. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, for comment, or access to polls. So click watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.